Welcome to Business Rockstars. I'm Alex Worley, joined by Sarah Michelle Geller and Greg Fleischman. They are the co-founders of Foodsters. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having, for having us. So for those who are not familiar, if you could explain what Foodsters is. Well, Foodsters is a clean comfort food company. We started out with baking. We offer a line of mixes that you can purchase anywhere in the country at uh, physical retail or online. And then we also offer a subscription-based uh, kit offering that uh, you can get once a month in your house. I'm a huge dessert lover, so love that it's a little less guilt or a little more guilt-free. Very cool. So where did the idea come from for Foodsters? Ouch. Uh, our Galit, children. Yeah, our yeah. children uh, originally, but uh, Galit is the one who came up with this original idea, and there was uh, always a pain point or a problem to solve. And in this case, she was pregnant with her second child and knew that she wanted to work, but she wanted to do something that would involve the kids and allow herself the time to uh, disconnect and uh, connect with her children. So uh, she thought that kitchen would be the best way to do that and uh, came up with food crafting ideas because the subscription businesses were popular at the time, but none of them were focused on treats. And uh, so that was the origin idea. That's where it originally came from. And then she connected with Sarah, and then they connected with me. And now we're just this amazing brand, killing it. <laughs> and, uh, now we're the, rock stars. But I guess yes, yes, rock, rock stars. Rock stars. But when you think about it, like, great ideas come from solving a problem. So in this case, Galit wants to work. She loves to work. And, uh, but how do you do that when you are raising a family? So mm -hmm. uh, I think this everybody's crazy, busy lives. you got to find those times to really connect. So making and it easier, but not taking away from the fun no. of something like baking. Exactly. Yeah. And also speaking to the modern consumer. I think that yeah. Galit was really smart in noticing that there was a hole in the marketplace. That you look at a perimeter of a store and you see all of these juices and coconut waters, as you like to point out. And But there hasn't been a ton of innovation in the center of the store. And that's mm -hmm. the heart of what we eat is center aisle. And really being able to say as the modern consumer, we want something that tastes good, something that has better ingredients, that's kinder to our planet, and that's at an affordable price, and that didn't exist. And so Galit was the one initially who saw that opportunity and, and jumped on it. Yeah, and then connect with Sarah, and they you know, went into the marketplace and found out there was a nice white space that, uh, where an idea could flourish. Awesome. Well, coming up with capital is always a struggle for our entrepreneurs, and I know that you guys have successfully secured funding, so I'd love for you guys to share a little bit of advice when it comes to securing funding. I always say that do your research before you go in. Find out what they've invested in or look for people who have invested in either like-minded people or like-minded ideas or in a space that's similar. And then you connect with your audience. You go into that room and you figure out what about your product, whether it's tech, whether it's you know an actual physical product, what makes it mean something to that person. You're literally asking someone to give you their money and why. And so you really have to find that commonality that is a reason for them to do it, mm -hmm. what that pushes. Yeah, and I would say make sure you have a disruptive idea because that usually helps. Make sure you have an amazing pitch deck and then have the selling capability to do that. I think when, um, and, and you know, Sarah Michelle, and we talked about it with Galit, is have a strong set of advisors that have raised money before and have all, and I have a toolbox that can guide you into those three things that are required. Vet your idea, make sure that when you're walking in the moon and talking to investors, they were like, well, I just heard five people, you know, 10 minutes ago tell me the same thing, you know, so have that disruptive idea. And then on that pitch deck, that's where you're focusing your vision, your strategy, and, you know, how much money you're going to raise, where are you going to use the funds? And, uh, and there's so many great templates out there from brands who have raised tens of millions of dollars. So find one of those decks, use that as a template and populate it with your own stuff. And then we always talk about it, practice in front of a mirror, practice in front of the harshest critics who make fun of you. Glee was, did, did a uh, talk at Escabona and practice in front of her kids who were the harshest critics. And that will shape you and, and make for a better end presentation. And I don't think entrepreneurs are who are raising money ever go to that kind of level of rigor when it comes to raising money. They come in with an idea and they can't even actually sell it and then investors turn off to it. So if you follow those three guiding principles, it seems to be effective. You have Great to advice. remember that an investor hears how many pitches a day. Yeah. So yeah, what separates absolutely. yours from everybody else? Yeah. And I was surprised to read that you felt that your career and background in Hollywood did not necessarily help you or give you an advantage to raising money. No, in fact, if anything, I think it was a hindrance. I think we had more to prove. It definitely maybe helped us get in the door and take the meeting as a novelty, but then you have this huge mountain to climb over. Um, it definitely was not an advantage. Well, I love what you guys are doing. Thank you so much for stopping by and sharing all your business insights. Really appreciate it. Thank you.
Get me where rock stars, business rock stars. You are officially business rock stars. Finally. <laughs>